a bitterly disappointing night again for you, Ben? Well, it has been, particularly because we played so well. The football, we outplayed them the second half, particularly. It was like one-way traffic, literally, for us. Um, very disappointing that we didn't come away with a point. But that's football. If you don't put it in the back of the net, you know, you, that's what's going to happen. Is that a massive blow to your survival hopes, or are you still? Uh, no, I, still I, I, I still forward? think I think there's still. Well, Lido are definitely down, and then we got uh, Lanethley. I think are, are still at death's door at the moment, so we might uh, avoid the drop through through those two clubs uh, not being able to fulfil um, the criteria. But um, it's just disappointing that we played so well, and we did play some exceptional football the second half. We just couldn't find that lucky touch just to put it in the back of the net. Is that a credit to your players, to be honest, with the amount of money that, that Baller has spent? That they, they had one shot and they scored one goal and yeah. your, your lads absolutely battered them, really? Yeah, they, well, you think now, I think they're four times our budget. So, and we've got, turned out a sterling performance. And I know that the manager, even on the TV, said they were absolutely battered. Baller were battered tonight with football. Um, and unfortunately, that seems to be how things have gone for us this season. But it just highlights things for me. I do need, you know, to, to look and see if I can bring in a striker for next year. Um, does that is it obviously gives you a base to build on because you played some magnificent stuff out there yeah, today? Yeah, it does, and uh, you know, it just shows you the commitment, the commitment of, of everybody. You know how they uh, adapt to the, the positions. I'm asking them. AJ's gone up front and done a great job for us. Craig Whitfield has come in and done an exceptional job for us. You know, uh, put Boundy Luke Boundford back to right back, and he's done a good job for us there. So. I've been very, very pleased with the, the way the players have performed and the effort and commitment they give. Uh, some of these players are, are shining for you at the moment in, uh, in sort of dire circumstances. Do you think it's going to be tricky to hold on to a few of them in the close season? Or I, I think it will. I mean, people like Shane, for example, is going to be a, a problem to get all to keep hold of for, for the money that we pay him um, and for what he what he turns out the performance. Um, our goalkeeper Dave Roberts has had some fantastic performances, you know. Um, yeah, and other people themselves, Craig Williams, who's a local lad, he's done exceptionally well. And you know, I've, with me converting him to a right winger, uh, he certainly enjoyed that role. Uh, and then you got Kieran, another local lad that seems to be moving forward. So we're kind of hoping that we can keep the, the nucleus of the players together. But you know, we showed that we can play. Just back to tonight, is there uh, anything in uh, Nicky Ward? Was he injured at half time? Is that why he came off? Or yeah, he was, uh, he'd was. done his back in actually. He had a spasm in his back before the game started, so we didn't think he was going to start. Um, but that just got worse as the, as the half went on, and he just said at half time, I, I can't do any more, my back's killing me. So we just had to substitute him. Looking forward to, to Saturday now. It's got to, I know we say every game's a must win game, but this has got to be the, the biggest yeah. one of the season now. <laughs> Every game yeah. becomes bigger and bigger. It's a, it's the old uh, snowball. I know when I was managing Telford, I kept on saying it's like a snowball, and it was a bit of a standing joke. But it does. It, every game, the next game gets bigger and bigger, and it's it's a, it is a must win for us, really. Do you think if if you do get the three points points Saturday, do you think that's a survival sealed, or do you think it will go down to the last it, it'll game? It'll go down to now. the last wire, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. It's going to go down to these last two games, so. You know, we just have to hope that we, like I've said all along, that we sustain our uh, status in this Premier League due to the fact that we are third from bottom. That's what I would love to do, um, and I know that the club would as well. But having said that, we, we have got a little bit of a lifeline with you know the misfortune that's happening at, at Lanethley. We'll have to wait and see what happens with them. If it goes into the last game of the season, it's going to be exciting for for the neutral, but obviously nerve wracking for yourself. Yeah, is that well, something you're you're dreading or something you're no no I. To? Uh, that's football. Them are the big games. Even if it's at the bottom, there's big games at the bottom. There's big games at top. Um, you just have to kind of look forward to them and relish them, and it'll have it added impetus because I know there's about 60 old uh, players that have played for the club coming back that day on the, the Lido game, uh, and they're coming to the to the ground and watching the game. So th there should be a good crowd yeah. on that particular day, and hopefully that will help us to get the three points. Cheers, Bernie. Thanks very much.